Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Young, Gander RV and Outdoor, standing inside the 2020 Keystone Cougar Half Ton 30 RLS fifth wheel. This rear living, beautiful residential style fifth wheel travel trailer is a fantastic option for that couple that's looking to get out and about and definitely wants the comforts and space of home to take with them. Let's start right back here in the rear living section. I'm going to start right at the back with the beautiful panoramic window that is huge, takes up almost the entire wall. This is the storm decor. So you're gonna see that kind of sandy, lightish, uh, dark and light in the accents pretty much all the way throughout this travel trailer. You got the wooden balances, LED lights, and a large cushioned sofa. Ah, <sighs> when you talk about those Thomas Paine pillow top furniture pieces that Keystone puts in these Cougars, these things are nice. They're plush, they're comfortable. This extends out, or, or this uh, jackknifes out into a sleeper bed. Um, so comfortable, so big, easily get two adults here. So this travel trailer, you could sleep four, but I'm gonna say six, and I'll show you why here in just a minute. But I got my end tables with storage underneath on both sides. Plus, I got USB charging ports and power ports. And you're gonna notice with all of the storage and all of the accents, you're gonna have solid wood, shaker style cabinets. Some of them will have the frosted glass inlays. All of them will have the brush nickel fixtures. The ones here in the back are strut supported and giving you plenty of space for whatever you wanna put up there, storage, clothes, books, fishing gear, hunting gear, camping gear. Uh, and when I say you could easily sleep four people, maybe six, what I mean is this. These Thomas Paine recliners are pillow top. And we have some of the largest in-class windows all the way around this super slide here on the living room area. This has massage on it. So you open that window up, you get that night breeze coming in, you lay this thing back and massage. You see where I'm coming from? You see where I'm coming from. Got a little storage compartment right there for the remotes. We move over to the dining area and we have, uh, this is a freestanding dinette with a solid wood table. Uh, underneath, you'll notice you got plenty of leg space and actual wooden chairs that are bolted into the floor for when you travel. But when you're talking about sitting down and reconnecting with the family, I mean, when was the last time you got out and had fun? When was the last time you disconnected and reconnected with the family? This travel trailer will allow you to do that. And I'm pretty sure anybody you invite would say, yeah, I'll come stay in it because it's beautiful. Just take a look at these balances, these panoramic windows with the wooden shades. That is residential style and class. We come around to the kitchen and we have a island kitchen with a seamless one-piece countertop giving you plenty of space, 50-50 deep well sink that's stainless steel with the brush nickel high-rise faucet and sprayer handle. I love this setup because uh, you got both sides. On the... Uh, preparation side, you'll see that we do have the solid wood cabinets on the ball bearings, full extension. These drawers give you great space. And with the clasp, when they stay in, they stay in. I mean, it's, it's, they're strong to pull out. You really got to yank. Got storage underneath as well as pipe access and cleaning room access down there as well. And another storage compartment right here with our drying rack and cutting board cover that are 50-50 for the same. Just great residential features and accents. We come over to, to the uh, Dometic fridge. This is an eight cubic foot fridge and freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric. And just look at the space that you have there. That's plenty of room for those long weekend trips. Or if you wanted to set this up for permanent residence, you absolutely could because of the <clears throat> retrofoil and astrofoil barriers and that insulation that Keystone has throughout this travel trailer, these things are temperature rated from zero degrees all the way up to 110 degrees. And when you're talking about a powerful furnace, the tough lock connections with the racetrack style ducting underneath here, the powerful air conditioners, you could easily make this a residential travel trailer. We even have frosted glass here on the pantry door. There is a light in there and the shelves uh, are adjustable, which I'm a huge fan of because if you are going to use this for like a hunting trip or a fishing trip and you need a place to put the rifle cases or the big fishing rods, that's a fantastic place to put them. Finally, go back over here to the entertainment center. Now I talked about the windows being open, bringing in that breeze, sleeping in the recliners, but 
when you have this huge 4K 50 inch TV with storage on the on the back behind it as well, plus it's on the swivel arm. And then you cut on this fireplace that has three flame settings, 750 watts or 1500 watt dual setting with the blower. And you let that go with the TV on. I'm sorry, you absolutely can sleep inside the recliners on this travel trailer. Making our way back up towards the bathroom and towards the master bedroom, I wanted to stop right here. Uh, this is another part of the kitchen prep area. So you got the shaker style solid wood cabinets up top, frosted glass right here for if you want to put your plates or some of the premier stuff. For me, I'm always looking for spaces for the backpacks, but the backsplash that we have here is a solid piece of backsplash. You got the seamless countertop to do your prep work, tons of storage, both above and below. And then when you come over here to do the cooking, you got even more space, more storage. That's a good spot for my pots and my pans. And I got a three burner stove with the grill style cover. Got the LED lights on the controls. And I love that glass back that glass splash cover and a 21 inch Furion stove. So if you want to do some baking, once again, residential, 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 and all the appliances match. Uh, the black on black with the hood, the, the burner, and the high point microwave. I mean, it's just it, where you're not going to run out of storage options inside this camper. You know, which is funny when people go camping, one of the big things they always talk about that they learn is they bring too much stuff. You always overpack. Uh, if you overpack in this camper, it's okay. So we come up to the in-command system. Fantastic way to control your camper. Even comes with an app that you can download. Control the AC, run the slides out, get the lights going, even cut on the water heaters. We come to the master bathroom. And if you notice, a lot of times their travel trailers had those three-quarter swivel doors. I like that they put the solid pocket door in here. We got a ceramic toilet bowl with the foot flush. Large single basin sink storage underneath, brush nickel fixtures on top, large mirrored vanity. Bob, I'll shut that for you. See if we can get you around there. I mean, this thing is so big. Look how much space you have in there. I have two lights. We got the powered vent fan there. We got the large single surround shower here with the bench seat and the crystal, what we like to call the crystal light inside the skylight, which you don't even really need, but will give you more headroom if you want to come back this way. But you got plenty of room up to down, uh, left and right. Plus you could sit down, relax, uh, shave your legs like I do every Tuesday. It's a wonderful thing. Corner notches for the soaps and the shampoos. Plus we have glass doors, making this a residential travel trailer that would be the envy of the campground. So what do you say now? We go take a look at the master bedroom. Just a beautiful style all the way around. So the master wardrobe is on its own slide. As you can see here, we got the mirrored cabinet doors. And on this side, we have the slide out drawers, or as I like to call them, the shoe drawers, sock drawers, underwear drawers, solid wood construction, ball bearing, full extension. You got it on both sides and you have ward storage, nightstand storage, on both sides plus you have dual usb and power ports uh, right beside the headboard on both sides so if you did need a cpap machine uh, if you needed to plug in a reading light or whatever you got plenty of space there you even have storage underneath and up above behind these beautiful shaker style cabinets with their own frosted glass inlays <clears throat> quick cool ac in the master as well and as i'm taking a look around yes I was hoping they would not have put the mount over there. They put it right here. TV mount this way on this wall. Because to me, I like looking as opposed to looking across, you know, uh, to, to, to see the TV. So you got your mount there, your key TV connection, which combines all your connections in one spot, plus your power port right there. All in all, this 2020 Keystone Cougar 30 RLS is a fantastic option for that family that's looking to get away but needs something residential. You could even turn this into a residence. Building a house, need something to live in, great option right here, especially if it's going to be a long extended part of time. We've seen the inside of this beautiful 30 RLS. Let's go check out the outside.
Hey everybody, here we are on the outside of the 2020 Keystone Cougar 30 RLS. Fantastic fifth wheel travel trailer for that family that wants to greet your comforts of home and wants to get out and go. We're going to start right up front. We got a beautiful painted end cap that is one piece. You got the LED running lights. And like I mentioned on the inside, you got that Astro foil barrier that's really going to help control the temperatures. Fifth wheel hitch. And this is one of the best you're going to find in the industry. The Keystone Road Armor Hitch. This really helps control the turning radius gives you max weight, plus you got the mirror right there and the push button LED light to help you back in. Large storage box right here for your double batteries and your spare tire. We come around over here to the off camp side, got twin 30 pound LP tanks uh, on this unit, one on each side. But the most important part of any RV, you want to take a look at the info panel. This is where it's going to tell you how much the vehicle weighs. For example, unloaded weight for this one is 8,800 pounds. Gross vehicle weight is 11,000 pounds. Ask your RV specialist again or RV and Outdoors, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. What does that mean for me? Come around to one side of the pass-through storage, and I wanted to show you two things predominantly on this side. Number one, the electronic leveling system. Yes, this has auto leveling. So when you pull up, just boom, follow it, auto level. It'll tell you what to hit. Read the instruction manual because having that is a fantastic option. And then here we have the Cougar external command center. We got your external shower. If you get to do some winterization, you got your port right there. Water heater bypass. This does have a uh, six gallon bypass on it, which is fantastic. Uh, you can city water connection, tank flush there, your black and your gray tank, and of course your port and battery disconnect right there, all in one spot, making life way easy when you're talking about setting up. Coming around, we got the True Fit slides, which is another patented thing for Keystone, uh, making life super easy. Uh, when you're talking about controls and less things breaking, these are phenomenal. Underneath here, you'll see we got one of our gray tanks. The port is right there. And this is a heated and sealed underbelly uh, underneath this fifth wheel travel trailer. Come through that giant, beautiful slide. This is a double axle travel trailer. You got those 15 inch aluminum wheels and the patented road armor suspension. That road armor suspension really helps stabilization. You're not gonna have a lot of bounce when going down. Fresh water connection behind a lock panel there. Come around to the rear, we got a solid mounted ladder that goes all the way over the top of these arched ceilings with the three inch rubber nozzles on both sides, just helping to keep the elements off the camper, off of you and off the slides. 50 amp connection right here. Yes, this does have a hitch. So if you needed to tow something else, maybe tow a little trailer with your, your bikes on it or you know your three wheel or whatever, you can absolutely do that. Sealed and tinted safety glass all the way around this beautiful camper. Now we got a 10 foot and an 11 foot awning, both with LED lights. This is the living and dining area that I was talking about. Look how giant those panoramic windows are. We got the solid mounted steps. You got the extra large grab handle, giving you easy access in and out. Uh, get the dual zone speakers out here, anti-slam storage. Now, this also has the off the grid system or the OTG system. It is set up for solar. Uh, so if you wanted to plug in your solar prep, you absolutely could with this unit. Here is your key TV connection, your in command control center, your heated tank systems. Yes, the fresh, the gray and the black tanks are all heated. And the other side of your pass through storage, just look at this finished off, it's heated and it's absolutely beautiful. That's plenty of space for, if you got those nice rifles, those nice fishing rods, beach chairs, towels, everything, that's a good spot for it. Other LP tank is right here. And if you notice, our awnings are Solera, which uh, some of them come with an automatic monitoring system where if it's too windy, it'll pull the awning back in. But if you're a couple that's looking for a fantastic fifth wheel travel trailer, to take out on the road and you need those residential creature comforts of home, this one is a great one to look at, especially if you don't have a lot of people to sleep. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you think of this 2020 Keystone Cougar 30 RLS fifth wheel? Did you like it? Do you like that decor, the storm decor? I love hearing from you. So please leave me some comments, like, and subscribe. We love it when you give us feedback. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you again very soon. And as always, come check out a camper. I'll see you.